My name is Damali Sali and I welcome you to this episode of the Ideation Corner. The Ideation Corner is a space where ideas are discussed and dissected. And today I'm very happy to host Paula Mugisa. Paula is a business development consultant. She studied business enterprise from the University of Buckingham in the United Kingdom. She also won an innovation award on a mobile application company which she founded at the University of Oxford again in the United Kingdom. In addition to that, Paula is the founder and team lead of TESA Advisory Services. TESA is a non-traditional management consulting firm that focuses on providing services to micro, small and medium-sized enterprises in Uganda. Paula, for the last 10 years through her company, has provided services to several companies where she helped them set up and scale up. She works with these businesses to plan, strategize, and implement business activities so that they can be catapulted to growth. I am very happy to host Paula today. Paula, thank you so much for coming to speak to us. Thank you so much for having me. That introduction was amazing. Uh, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Who's that girl? Who is she talking about? Who is she? I want to meet her. <laughs> is it me? Yeah, who's that? I'm glad, I'm glad. But um, when you usually when you talk to people about a business consulting firm yeah. that provides business advisory services, there are too yeah. many words. People don't know what it is. Right. Just break it down for the layman. What exactly is that? Yeah, so advisory and providing support for businesses really is just hand-holding them and walking through their journey with them to grow a business. That's it. And all of the other many... I don't, I'm trying to avoid using big words. I know. <laughs> Now conscious. Yeah, now conscious. I'm like, yeah, without, with, you know, with many of the support interventions, yeah. And um, I think they're mainly about 10 to 15 main business development areas, the usual things. Mm -hmm. Who's your team? What's your strategy? How are you acquiring customers? Branding, service delivery, processes, all of those things. Mm -hmm. So really just walking with them on a journey to like structure and process and help them have processes for those things to grow their businesses. Okay, hypothetically, yeah. if uh, the ideation corner is a small business and, yes. it, is, yeah. and it came to you yeah. and said, I want Tessa Advisory yeah. to yeah. help me, Yeah. in, in, in small words, yeah. what would you do? Oh, so fun. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so first thing I would think in my head, yeah, even before I approach the proprietor of ideation corner, I would say, okay, it's a video platform, it's more like a vlog, they have weekly shows, they're talking about ideas, talking about business ideas. So my first question would be, what kind of audience are you targeting and building through the show? Second question, how are you going to monetize it? And to whom and with what? And so we would meet and we'd sit down and refine the idea first. Ideation Corner is this. It offers this to these people in this way at this price. Right? First, refine the idea. Then develop a business model around it, which is just a fancy way of saying all the different elements that will bring together this business. And then we attach a revenue model. The first thing I would say, I would say, okay, so people are tuning in to learn about ideas, how entrepreneurs um, you know, did the things that they did. So it's highly likely they want to develop ideas themselves. How about if Ideation Corner developed a very low tier, very simple workshop service package, called it the Ideation Bank, um, had 50 entrepreneurs come to refine their ideas. How about that? And so Ideation Corner then becomes a platform where you refine your ideas. You learn how other people did it, right? And then we teach you how to do it yourself. So maybe all of the other structuring support or whatever, you can go to TESA, you can go online, you can you know talk to your dad who has a business. But in terms of developing and refining the idea, that's what Ideation Corner is for. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. I've gotten free consulting advice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But um, <laughs> I can see that you, you in the profile, I was saying that Atessa is a non-traditional yes. consulting firm. Yes, non-traditional. You focus on micro, small, medium-sized enterprises. That's a bracket that uh, most consulting firms wouldn't look at. Yes. Because okay, I don't know, you know, their pay structure yeah. and usually the so what. 
what made you decide to look at this segment? So interesting. I love this question. So we do focus on non-traditional, meaning um, not the conventional advisory and consultancy, meaning we don't sit in a physical room and strategize, plan, and execute activities. Everything happens digitally and online. So that's a non-traditional piece. Now, um, micro and small enterprises, especially in Ugandan ones or any other economic environment like Uganda. Yeah, many youth, um, not enough capital, um, many people semi-literate or uneducated or uneducated youth with no jobs. Um, many of those people have a strong demand for this kind of support, are willing to acquire this kind of support, can't pay for this support. So that's the issue. That's why most advisory firms um, are not serving them. And I think it's not because they can't, it's just that they haven't structured how to do that. Mm -hmm. So we realized, as we were talking before, that um, we're not having impact. Um, when we started, we're doing traditional consultancy and we ended up having medium and large enterprises. <laughs> yes. And so at the end of the uh, last year, no idea of COVID, no idea of the pandemic, nothing. I just said we have to find a way to get all these things, the ones we do, put them somewhere, yeah. um, make the price 50 times cheaper um, by leveraging technology, mm -hmm. and so that now thousands, hundreds of thousands, can millions of people it. can afford it. Okay. Yeah. So what, what is your kind of price range? Because, you know, I, I can imagine that a small, micro, small, medium-sized enterprises, as soon as they see test advisory, it's a mindset. Yeah. Immediately. I'll be, yeah. Uh, they'll immediately think, I can't afford it. They won't even find out. Yeah. Yeah, they won't. And that's so interesting. And I love that talking about pricing. So again, one of our main business philosophies, yeah, is impact by volume, which means that there's a certain number of our services that we offer for free. And I strongly <laughs> encourage, um, by encourage, I mean push. The entrepreneurs that we work with to do the same thing, have a free thing, serve many people, have a paid thing, give more detailed, consistent value. So we do the same thing. We do what we ask other entrepreneurs to do. And the free thing is our master classes. Mm -hmm. We teach businesses how to refine their ideas and how to attach a revenue model for free. Those two are free. Those two things are free to any Ugandan business in this entire country. How do they access Online through our webinar masterclass. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. I need you to give the details. Oh, I right. want anyone who is watching right now. Right now. There are free classes that you can access. That's available to everyone. Yeah. Easiest, easiest thing is to go to our social media pages. All of them, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, are at TESA Advisory. TESA with a double E. And the links are there in our bio. We have a fantastic webinar masterclass coming up with Flavia Tumsime. 3,000 people have signed up. It's really, really wow, exciting. It's <laughs> yeah, it's huge. And we want to help more than that. We can help 30,000 mm -hmm. um, and offer them those two main things. What is the idea? How are we going to make money for it? Before we do all those other things. Um, but all of our other paid services are are equally affordable. We have what we call a tactical session workshop. Same thing on refining the idea but going deeper into it. Mm -hmm. um, and customer acquisition. So how do you get revenue to your business? That's 300k. Mm -hmm. That's affordable to someone even mm -hmm. in the university. Mm -hmm. The point is you leave that workshop with your idea and a revenue model and pricing and you can go and you get low hanging fruit around you and start that week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then above that is our two turn decay course. Which doesn't mean to start, it's actually targeted at people who have been in business for a while. Mm -hmm. um, we have people on there from... Well, it's called Tutan Decay. Yes, Tutan Decay is start. start, yeah. But in my mind, <laughs> do you know what Tutan Decay meant? Foundation. What's foundation? Musinji. Musinji. Yes. Should have been the online business Musinji course. Oh, Musinji. Oh, Musinji. That's so funny. <laughs> Like saying is not yeah, so I love the one like this one. You know, I said, it's our turn the foundation of our business. People are like, no, it's for starting businesses, so they have been that. <laughs> but, but I liked that you tried. Yeah, we tried. Know, I like that you tried. Yes. Mm, I feel like two years from now it's going to be Mercedes. You know? It's going to be a Mercedes business course. I'm for real, I'm not joking. <laughs> so, like, if I'm if our coordinator is watching right now, I hope she you knows she has to note it down. Like, like, seeing, like seriously, guys, it's no have, yeah, like, you're seeing. <laughs> you guys are just seeing us do this whole thing to turn the case start. That we try, you know, yeah. You try. I, I, I like tried. that, by the way, because I'm a family living in local content. It and I always, too. so I was really interested in the fact that you're focusing on small, micro, 
you know, yeah. enterprises. Yeah. So, Omuntu Wawansi. Oh, Omuntu so Wawansi, yes. You know, I was very happy that you're actually looking at that. I was worried about uh, your business model. How do you survive? Yeah. Because Omuntu Wawansi can't afford. But right. I like that, in a way, you've thought yeah. about it. In, yeah. How you do the revenue. In tears. In tears. Yeah. And so, it's all the way from Omuntu Wawansi to Omuntu Wawano. Mm-hmm. Um, and that to Tandike as it is now. <laughs> Let them get as it is now is a one million shillings course, right? Mm-hmm. Which I still feel like it's interesting. We have people who are twenty one years, twenty three year olds buying mm-hmm. the course, like I said, and people in their late fifties buying the course. Okay. And it's really what we feel is the foundation of business in Uganda. Okay, for any business in an economic environment, but we're targeting our people mm-hmm. first. Okay. So there's team staff, branding, strategy planning, execution, all of those other things, service delivery, business structures and administration, mm-hmm. taxation for small businesses in Uganda, oh, all of that. Yes. Um, how do you set up a business? process map why do you need to how do you hire a team when you can't afford to hire a permanent employee because you're a small business mm-hmm. and all of that on there so that's one million lifetime access you have it forever oh. any updates to the course any anything you have it it's video audio and transcript i like that it's also audio because again yeah. Montua, once you can't avoid video exactly because it's so expensive it's too expensive yeah you your data. yeah sometimes we don't want to watch video <laughs> i don't download all the videos on my website <laughs> because i'm just like 300 yeah. mb do you think i made a money <laughs> Spending my money. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> um, and then transcript also, you can print all of those things and just read the lessons. Okay. On top of that, again, mm-hmm. um, like we're talking about before, before we started rolling, all of our interventions are geared towards execution. It's not for the purpose of getting a certificate, right? Or sitting, you know, for a 12 week session that you're implementing a business while watching a video. What business are you doing while watching a video? <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. short, short videos, and then so if there's a so one of the lessons is subcontracting, right? Mm-hmm. How do you subcontract someone that's really, really good in whatever they do to support your business in the short term, right? Okay. After that nine minute or so lesson, there's a subcontracting agreement PDF that takes wow. are designed for you. Uh, Download it. You can. Go it's through. available. Yeah, in the course. Yeah. Download it. Put Damali's name. Put Paula's name. What you expect from Damali? What you expect from Paula? The price and go. Hmm. Yeah. So each thing has a resource to help you record hmm. and implement. I realize that it's, it sounds really, really like practical. You, 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 in a way, you're not even encouraging. Sit back, think, write a business plan. You're yeah. Like, you have an idea. These are the short, short things you want to know. Get it and go. Start. 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 Yeah, that's how it works. And again, you know, we're we're talking about um, tens of millions, hundreds of millions for consultation to now putting everything into a thing for one million Mm -hmm. that you have forever that you can use wherever you are in Uganda Mm -hmm. and then begin to implement it. Okay. Yeah. I I like the point. But uh, how did you think? Because I, I like figuring out how did people start this idea. How did you come up with this oh, idea? Wow. Why? What was your wow. thinking, wow. your conceptualization wow. of it? It's a long story. <laughs> so I feel like people see Tessa, Tutanike, anyone, yeah. even you, and all of the amazing things that you're doing. But like, so for example, so with the app mm-hmm. that I built that won an award at Oxford, yeah. um, it was called Student Proxy. Mm-hmm. So at the time, I was so grateful for the opportunity to study in the UK. So grateful to study what I wanted to study, mm-hmm. business enterprise and setting up businesses. Um, that I thought, how cool would it be mm-hmm. if universities, you've been in the UK for a while, so I know you know, if these universities that are seated on literal resources that can change the lives of the people in our country, how cool would it be if we aggregated all of these resources onto one platform for my people who are Ugandan entrepreneurs. Really no certification, no mm. whatever. Just Nothing. understand what you need to understand to do. Mm. That's my thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's interesting because I was speaking with my program director, 80 year old man, mm-hmm. who's saying from everything that you did, mm. yeah, they no longer host lectures for the program that I was on. They call them the, short talks for my degree program. Wow. They offer yes. short talks short to talks. entrepreneurs. Because yes. one of the things is a degree program is on, so they teach you how to set up a business and they give you funding to set up your business. Mm-hmm. Only like 9 to 11 people from all over the world are onboarded onto that program each year. So okay. it's very competitive. Mm-hmm. Um, I was very proud to be um, one, one, of, of, mm-hmm. one of them. Exactly. And I'm <laughs> But um, yeah, so so there's that. So now it's just short talks. Understand what you need to understand and do. So what you concentrated actually a while ago is now being actually it's now being actualized. Like how many years later? <laughs> Eight or nine? And then also it's off of a background of I wish when I was seventeen, someone created uh, this yes. for me. And gave you the I was always needed. trying yeah. to break out and do and try mm. and explore, but I didn't you know, know how to like tools. where. 
like where do you start and you know we still get those emails we get 50 80 emails a day mm-hmm. of how but how do i start yes. with people who know exactly what to do but how yeah. like where do i, where do I how do so I just, i'm together? creating the thing that i wish someone created for me when i was 16 and 17 that they and can do it now and you're yeah. getting the impact so given that uh, we are seen as well it's a fact studies have shown that we are one of the most entrepreneurial countries in the yeah. world uh, for women i think we even on top as you know the highest number of women in entrepreneurship yeah of course it's out of you know the need that yes. they're then entrepreneurs yeah and then we lack a lot of information on how to actually implement yeah so how are you uh how what is tessa doing i like that you're always focusing on impact but yeah. what is tessa doing to ensure that we catch those students yeah before they they, they go out looking yeah. for jobs in the market which they're not enough of yeah. how, what is tessa doing about that so there are two things there's trying to catch those people but there's also that thing of all these youth businesses all of these um entrepreneurs all of these things how come their businesses are failing right how come we're not seeing many new products and services yeah into the market how come we're still seeing brands from from kenya and abroad not ugandan products and services why isn't your shopping basket full of a ugandan rice and tea and i know all sorts of other things yeah um so again there are two interventions so the first of why ugandan businesses fail is because many times when something is born out of need you end up building the wrong thing Mm-hmm. That's why ideation so like the ideation corner of business ideation model mm-hmm. you have to be building the right thing mm-hmm. even when you make mistakes when you're building the right thing somehow it feels it's it's still it end up in the same yeah. place yeah mm-hmm. so that's one of the reasons so the ideation module um is free and we offered it for free as soon as we went digital and we're like that question of what business what I I do? Do? and there's always that question that. There's always someone with I have 5 million I want to start a business and then they go on asking everyone what business should I start and then they tell you ah oh, yeah you know I think you should do banking oh yeah there's a lot of money in banking yeah. and then someone posts the 5 million in banking Can you imagine? and then it disappears you know the person who's saying there's a lot of money in banking how do they know what facts are missing they are not a baker <laughs> but you've but used all your savings on that the information to start baking and then the money yeah. disappears we have seen there's a there's a lady mm. she sells eggs Yeah, been selling she she she's been selling so much. She bought a house. So me I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> me if you start selling but it's just like do you know the process involved? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um you know chickens dying vaccinations whatever being you know all mm-hmm. you know all the entire process from packaging mm-hmm. who's your distributor of eggs where they nothing. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we have to be building so your ideation course that one that is available for free. Yes, is on our website. And it would give someone say I have my 5 million or 1 million yes. of capital or and 100, I don't get thousand. I saw the test out when I didn't have 100,000. I don't know why. Zero. I didn't have saving somewhere much. Okay, it's not nice. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what you mean is it's possible. Like it is possible. Not that you're happy I didn't have them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh oh, where was yes. I? I was saying that um yes. The ideation course that module that is available for free for yeah. anyone yeah. to access yeah. would give someone it it what is it would it give someone an idea if i have so like 100,000 so it asks the right questions that's what it does to lead you to to lead you to aggregate an idea so okay. it's asking what your interests are it's asking what your passions are it's asking what your formal skills are where have you worked what did you study it's asking what your informal skills are what have you taught yourself that you can do yeah and then your recent activities those five things it's trying to aggregate them to be one long term innovative idea right mm-hmm. that you can now enter into the market in some form of product or service so it's not telling it's not telling me you. with my 100,000 that what god do this no, 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 it's no, no, guiding no. me to figure it's out it's guiding what I you do. to do some internal exploration to figure it out for yourself because when you do and when you feel a strong connection to this idea and it's connected to you it's highly likely you're going to drive it and you're going to do something amazing that only you can do the way how you are yeah, that's why you asked about the informal interest the yeah that all of have, that but, okay. you must already picture the people who you're going to serve and understand that you're the one to serve them mm-hmm. with that product okay now that is the beginning of an idea that's meaningful okay i'm very interested in that yeah idea. and it's free guys and it's free on our website on our online courses page at the bottom it says get free module mm-hmm. put in your email address let it takes a second all the videos are sent to you know you have them forever and then short three videos and then a worksheet and we also say they're audio 
so no so now these ones are all videos so okay. there are multimedia video audio transcript other paid courses okay actually we should be able to keep people yeah because audio, audio especially for for what we want yeah, yeah i know we audio. should we should no, it's no, just that these ones are shorter it's three minutes two minutes and i think one minute all together it's like a five minute module but still but it's the lady in the case yeah, no, yeah. Deal with that's video. true we should we should offer audio as well yeah, okay. it's not hard that's at all good. and then the second module that is also free what is it about so so this one the first module ideation I Idea. Yeah. to figure yeah. out ideation. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. It's a business idea. <laughs> It helps me to figure out you have your capital you don't know what to do with it yeah. yet and how how you get to the to answer that question. yes but there's yeah. also i've been running this business for five years enter covid maybe it's an events business people are not meeting physically ideation is a continuous process mm. right i don't know why True. you people in general feel like you get the idea and, and then that's what and you and you for day for life and you die yeah with it. It's I mean, and you die, it's the same. Like, yeah, you <laughs> make come up with the idea at that time in 1998. <laughs> and it's the same. And it's the same exact. <laughs> Honestly, who is the same exact from even Jan <laughs> to now? 2020 has been like, who is the same exact person? You're not even the person who you were in January. So therefore, even the existing uh, companies right now, which are, have to, we're, we're having to. to think through with COVID, what yeah, has happened, with COVID. the way the world has changed. Yeah. You need to think through how can you even, you know, change your business model. We fine and retarget because the people we are serving, they've also changed. They've also changed. Like how you have changed. <laughs> So what are they thinking about and what do they want and how can you target them? Mm -hmm. And you know, COVID has forced us to think about that iteration, what in business is called iteration and pivoting, yeah. like from to turn to to sing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, customer preferences are always changing. The economic mm -hmm. environment is always changing. One mm -hmm. of the biggest things for us is next year is elections. That's going to change business in a big way. True. So how are we preparing for that? Mm -hmm. um, economic environment, social environments, trends, technology is always being introduced again. How are you preparing for that? Mm -hmm. Emulate and look up to are great at doing that. They are always like shaking, like, yeah. yeah. being flexible, but the rest we're stuck. Yeah. Yeah, so we always need to be ideating, reiterating and pivoting. Continuously. Yeah. Doesn't end. Yeah. That's the first module, free module. Free. The second one that is free. Customer acquisition, but it's only held within the masterclass. Again, which people can go on a social media place um, page. page in the links and sign up. Okay. Um, so the customer acquisition mm -hmm. is how do you develop a consistent cycle for getting income into your business? Mm -hmm. I think from one of my pet peeves mm -hmm. as a business development person, it's like, yeah, Paula, of course I can leave my job to do business. Mm -hmm. You know, I have done many businesses, mm -hmm. right? But the thing that disturbs you, you know, I have children, mm -hmm. I have kids, and business doesn't bring in money consistently. Who said? <laughs> Who said? Honestly, who came they up with that thing? They, they, they. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, who is they? they? Who's Business they? doesn't bring in money consistently, so you're there. <laughs> yeah. There now, I'm just like, oh, yeah, we have work. So that's why you're we offering this. this. No, when you yeah, show that the business can step consistently step bring, bring in, in money. money. And it's not that hard. I don't know. Someone, I don't know who they, the person they yeah. said that you get money in Jan, then you get it in September, then next Jan. Yeah, yeah. So all that time, that's why you need to have your job. <laughs> So what's your point? We were also talking earlier yeah. uh, about uh, you know like women entrepreneurs. Yes. Obviously, being the highest, we have the highest number of women entrepreneurs right, in right, the world, right. which is excellent. Yes. Uh, but of course, we also have our challenges and our problems. Right. Uh, given your experience in this yes. area, yeah. what 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 do you feel are the, those challenges that affect women entrepreneurs quite a lot? The top two. <laughs> <laughs> And what, what advice would you give, would you offer? So one of them we kind of again started talking about um, earlier. Um, it's that I feel, especially now that we are right in the middle of business coaching, 81% um, of our audience are women and all the people taking our online courses exactly. are women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I okay, don't like men, but it's excellent. Right, it's we, fantastic. We, a lot of yeah. um, but again, and no offense to all the men, right? No, but no. women mm -hmm. um, are very flexible. They're very open-minded. They're willing to change. Um, they are less, again, men no offense, but they're less rigid. They're just like, okay, let's try. It's like, maybe I haven't understood, but if you make me understand, then I'll come on board. For most men, it's like, resist fast. And then slowly, no, then you try to <laughs> okay. um, So I think that's, the, yeah, so that's that. And I, but I think now for women, the biggest challenge aside from all of that is they need, we need mm -hmm. validation and permission. 
I spend a lot of business coaching giving people permission. Mm -hmm. I'm giving people permission to follow their dreams, to be wild, to be more, um, to charge someone $20,000 <laughs> in Uganda during COVID. Um, I was on a talk with a group of businesswomen. Mm -hmm. And I was telling them a story about a couple that left the UK, been accountants for long, um, built 12 units um, of Luthuli Avenue, mm -hmm. right? Of penthouses that they sold in dollars, all completely to Ugandans. Yeah? Okay. Apartments and penthouses. Mm -hmm. So penthouses were going at $330,000. Dollars. $1 billion. Mm -hmm. All sold wow. out during lockdown. So those of you who are like, yeah. So those of you who are like, oh, there's no money. I don't know in COVID or why. How can I know? People are making money. People have money to spend, right? It's really a mindset thing. There's always opportunities, um, and the people who are ready to take advantage of the opportunities, those are the winners, right? So I feel like women need to be able to permission, yeah, risk takers, and do men don't have that. Uh, you have yeah, to, uh, yeah. Men don't they take that. the risk. Actually, when they take the risk, they don't doubt themselves. If a man, if you present a man with a proposal, right, he won't think, uh, and you're like, oh, it's complex. You have to do this. You have to do this. We we'll have to do this. We we'll have to talk to this person. You know what a man will say? Mm -hmm. A man will look at the whole thing, and he won't doubt himself. He, he'll be yeah. He'll, he'll be like, yeah, we can do this. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, and if it's hard, he'll say it's because the idea itself is hard. Yeah, not because, no, I, because I can't do it. Okay. The woman will look at that same proposal and be like, I don't I, have, I don't know how I'm meant to offer. I don't have the capacity. And she'll immediately go in want to blame because herself or herself. why she can't do this. Okay. No, it's just hard because you're trying to go across the country, you're trying to reach a million yes. people. Yeah, but she but, will take it upon herself mm -hmm. as the reason why she can't. Mm -hmm. So the self doubt, the validation, the needing permission, the you know wanting to be set free. I promise you, that is like ninety percent of the problem. 90 percent 90 percent the other things it's just structuring organization frameworks so mm -hmm. the value they have the skills they have who they want to serve the dreams they have the goals they have many of you are also so over quality right? <laughs> i'm not understanding why you're afraid to do this small <laughs> thing <laughs> right because you're doing these massive things mm. for these other organizations and other people and other projects and other communities mm. And then I'm starting on a tiny Yeah, and then and then it's like but I also sold bags. What? <laughs> <laughs> um instead of then leveraging all of those skills to build this thing that you want to build mm -hmm. to give us that you know we need. That many of the times we don't even know we need, mm -hmm. but you know. Mm -hmm. And you're the one supposed to put it in the market, but you're like, Oh mm -hmm. maybe two to three years from now. Yeah, are you sure you're going to be here two to three years from now? There's also that. So can yeah. you just do make use of today? Yeah, do it now. <laughs> it's going to be great. So I actually that's my phrase. I'm always like in business coaching. I'm like it's going to be great. Yeah. You're the one to do it. You're that's there it. selling dreams. I'm there yeah. selling hope. <laughs> a lot of hope and dreams but that i've achieved myself in this uganda and i want people to know that's interesting yeah now my, my biggest thing I, I i always like to either motivate inspire young people yeah. i feel like a lot of the things that you're doing also would inspire and motivate young people yes. how is tests are saying that uh maybe they're working with young people are there any special master classes that you're going to do are there do you have any plans oh yes you didn't ask that. i feel like i didn't respond so one of the things is we want to have our webinar master classes mm -hmm. and specific activations for universities mm -hmm. yeah to again onboard thousands tens, tens of thousands hundreds of people you know onto these master classes and really because i benefited it benefited from it really target that student entrepreneur who's younger who's still studying but not that whole Thing which our culture sells, or you know, that we grew up in, of like you first study, then you finish, and then you implement. No, whilst you're acquiring the information and getting ideas, and your mind is open, mm. this is the time to implement. So by the time you're done, mm. or sometimes even before, you have these great, yeah, okay. yeah products and services out into the market. Not just something, a, a thing, a whole amazing thing. Mm. Yeah, which is common abroad. I know. Over yeah. there, they do it. Here, we wait. You spend all the time oh, studying, and yeah. then after that, then I don't know why. We I don't know why. To do that. Yeah. yeah. Even with our courses, I feel like all of the ladies who um, take the whole entire course, watch all the videos, take all the lessons, right? Before they implement, end up getting they overwhelmed and stuck. So they do all the stuff before oh, they start. Yeah, and I don't recommend that. I'm like, do team, then do it. Implement. Yes. Do strategy, create then, your business model. You know, do the customer acquisition, go out and get your low-hanging fruit and that first business into you. As you go along, okay. it's the best. Going back to the webinars, we're yes. very interested in that. Yeah. Where can some, first of all, when are they starting, especially for the students? Where can someone find them? 
All that. Yeah. Okay. So the webinars are running for the next few months until December. We already had one with coffee with Alice and a bunch of lawyer students or students that have just graduated law or started to practice. Yeah. We have the second one with Flavia. What we will do for each and every webinar, which masterclass, which is teaching those two things, is we will post the links for people from outside to join. They will always be in our social media. Mm -hmm. We have a calendar mm -hmm. of um, about three to four webinars every month. Okay. So this, this calendar is on your website? This calendar is on all our social media pages. Okay. Um, we're redoing our website because, interestingly, um, the ideas and plans that we had, and we're talking about this, at the beginning of the year have mm. evolved the to a completely thing. <laughs> so okay. our website, yes. which is there, was is not mirroring <laughs> the actual thing. And so we're trying to get coaching on there, the business, the new course, the one that's coming up. We're releasing three other business courses. Yeah. Um, you know, it's for the website to really represent our business because it's our home. Yes. Um, so for now, social media. For now, social media. Okay. Um, we'll be having all of you know the webinar links. Mm. Um, like I said, so there's one next Tuesday. Okay. Instagram, link in bio, Twitter, Facebook, they are there. Just register with your email address. Okay. Um, if you're not able to attend the live event, mm -hmm. still register because we'll send you the audio recording, exactly. the video recording, mm -hmm. this ideation module we're talking about for free, mm -hmm. that worksheet, and a small piece to start on customer acquisition with low hanging fruit around you. Okay. Yeah, all that okay. you get your email for free, correct? Hey. Tessa, thank you so much for talking thank to me. Thank you Do you so have much. anything else you want to add to this wonderfulness you just told us? <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's two things mainly. I want people to focus on ideation and, and doing it internally. So explore your idea internally. Think about who you are, what you have to offer. Be wild. Just just imagine you have no limitations, right? And what you would do and what you put into this country. So the first thing. Um, the second thing is, again, once you hold on to that idea, start to implement it immediately. Price it and start to talk to people about it and offer it. And then all the other wonderful things will come later. Ladies and gentlemen, there you had it from Paula. Please do go to their social media platforms. They are offering two modules that are free, available for you. Also, register for their master classes. It's a wonderful resource. Students, I urge you, I beg you, you're in a lockdown. Please do get these resources. And um, that is uh, Damali Sally. Please uh, also subscribe to my channel on YouTube and Facebook. And it is uh, Damali Sally. Thank you.